Welcome to the Goodwood Festival of Speed in sunny England. Every year, 200,000 people visit the home of the Duke of Richmond for a slice of automotive Nirvana. It's Britain's answer to the Pebble Beach Concorde d'Elegance, but here, the cars get driven. Making its debut at Goodwood this weekend is the McLaren 600 LT, and it'll be exclusively driven up the famous hill climb by, um, me. I've been charged with demonstrating this $240,000 car to the tens of thousands of people here at Goodwood and the millions more watching on television. It'll be the fastest first drive Edmunds has ever done, so no pressure. The 600 is based on the 570S, but McLaren says that up to 25% of the parts are new. LT stands for long tail. This car has grown by all of 2.9 inches, which is about that. There's a new fixed carbon fibre rear wing for aerodynamic downforce, uprated suspension, pinch from the 720S, carbon ceramic brakes and bespoke Pirelli tyres. Then of course there's the signature feature shared with the 675LT. These exhausts now protrude from the engine bay instead of being sat underneath with the diffuser. They're hot and yet very, very cool. Inside, it's really a case of less is more. Ditching most of the carpet has helped save 13 pounds, and these optional seats, pinched from the center hypercar, save an extra 50 pounds. In this trim that you can see here, McLaren reckons the 600 LT is 220 pounds lighter than the equivalent 570S, about the same as a um, bulbous buddy. Hour to go before the run starts, so time to get the onesie on. This is the famous Goodwood Festival of Speed Drivers Club, where you tend to get changed next to somebody famous. Last time for me, it was Emerson Fittipaldi. And I tell you, never meet your hero in tired blue underwear. It's not good. McLaren's insurers are demanding that I'm joined by one of their race drivers, Rob Garifall. But what he's supposed to do from the passenger seat is anyone's guess. Maybe he's just here to witness the crash. The engine's McLaren's familiar 3.8-litre twin-turbo V8, but it's been retuned to deliver 592 horsepower and 457 pounds-feet of torque. McLaren's claiming 0 to 60 in 2.8 seconds and a quarter mile in just 10.4, enough to challenge Lamborghini's Huracan Performante. So it's hard to estimate just how big this uh, event has become. It's just extraordinary. And terribly British as well. This is Lord March, or the Duke of Richmond as he is now, he's been promoted. This is his private driveway, it's 1.16 miles long. And the record was set by Nick Heidfeld in a McLaren Formula One car back in 1999, but no danger of threatening that today. Man, this thing's fast. Concentrate, Weaver. Flip all ahead. Trying to keep it out of the hay bales. Remember which way it goes. Finish line flat. Fourth gear. Woo. So that is the Goodwood Hill climb. I thought I'd better shut up and concentrate. So there we go, the Goodwood Hill Climb in all of 60 seconds, less probably. Short and sweet. Short and sweet. <laughs> Kept it out the wall, bit of smoke off the line, but uh, what a toy this is. That's probably the fastest road test I've ever done. There's a little taster of what it can do. Fabulous, real privilege. Good job, well done. So that was a hell of an experience, and this is clearly a hell of a car. McLaren's only going to build around 600 versions of the LT Coupe, and then another 600 of the Spider version they'll launch later in the year. So it may well appreciate in value just like the 675 LT did. If any car can be a $240,000 bargain, this might just be it. We'll have to wait till we get it back to the US on road and track to give you a definitive judgment. But I can tell you this, if you're lucky enough to buy one of these cars, 
don't just lock it in a garage. Drive it, please. If you want to see more fun stuff like this, subscribe to our YouTube channel. And for more about the 600LT, check out edmunds.com.